Wait, wait, wait. This has nothing to do with the video, but why was I just wait? Hold on. Hey! I'm the baddest! Hey! Oh, bitch, I am the baddest in these hoes. I got the baddest in these bitches on the status because they know I got the catches in my asses. It's the baddest in my asses. Just the baddest in your asses. Just the baddest in your asses. Not the baddest. Ow! Okay. <laughs> What's up, K Mama, that Finn Bay Mom? What up, what up? It's your boy Keys. Keys the GOAT, Keys the President, Big Keys with a big wallet and a big mouth. Ain't nobody what? Pop you in it yet? Pop me in it yet? Yeah, yeah, you get it, you get it. What's up, y'all? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today because I know I am. Judging by the title of this video, you're probably like, Keys, what's going on? Like, why are you always telling us your business? I really couldn't tell you. I have a very distinctive problem with just wanting to see the gag of everybody. You know, one time as a kid, my mom asked me, why do I always tell the business I go inside the house? And I, I think I told y'all this. I looked at her and I was like, I like to see the reaction to people and then she um knocked me straight on my fucking teeth but anywho y'all always say y'all want college story times and honestly i didn't go to a lit college you know i didn't go to pv or hbcu tech i went to eastern washington university not the best school not the funnest i have compiled a list or some of the things that i felt like were tell worthy of me to tell y'all so before we start getting into the topics at hand i want to make sure it's very clear that this is my experience i ain't telling y'all i do a uh, Damn thing I'm doing. Some of y'all want to be the slave to the white man. And I ain't even saying that's all that. Because I'm not going to lie. We need some of y'all to go to school. It's not cool to like just drop out. Like I'm not, I'm not enforcing this. I need you niggas to go. I need you niggas to try. I love the lash tech. Trust me, I love my nail tech. But I need a bitch who's going to be a nurse in about 10 years. You feel me? So the point of this video is strictly for comedic relief. It's just life. And I'm just making fun of it because it's, it's, it's fucked up. Not going to lie. It's not cute when you're grown. So, yeah. Um... One of the biggest reasons that I personally just couldn't do college was the cost. It don't make no goddamn sense how much they make you pay in there. And it's just like, okay, I get that everything not going to be free and it's supposed to be preparing you for life. But um, in real life, I promise you, I will never pay $10,000 for an extra large twin bed. And what kills me is extra large don't got nothing to do with width. It's length. Bruh, why do you need an extra long bed? I'm only 5'5". Five five. You know what I mean? Like, not me personally, but imagine a short bitch. What would she need that for? Okay, that girl a little chunky. She need a full bed. Please, we grown. Like, it just don't make no sense. And I felt like everything was just a, a, a Ponzi scheme. My English teacher had the nerve to bring her bald head ass into class one day and say that we need to pay a $50 fee for a homework assignment site. I'm like, wait now, hold on. Canvas is definitely free 99. She don't like to use Canvas. She like to monitor when we cheating. Bitch, this Google can get pulled out regardless. I don't, what, what is me paying $50 gonna do about that? You know what I mean? Like, do you understand what I'm getting at? But all right, let's say your teacher didn't crawl from the crevices of hell and they let you use Canvas for free. Now you gotta pay $300 for a textbook. You might not even open that motherfucker. You might not even read the page too, but you gonna pay for it though, not me. Listen, I'll ask, hey, I'll ask the bitch next to me for I pay that much for a book. My way of thinking in the career path that I had already had set out in my heart, in my blood, in my... Things like that didn't make no sense to me. I get I'm gonna have to spend money on stuff. I get that that's the part of being an adult, but I also feel like being an adult is also about spending your money wisely. Like I'm already paying you about $25,000 for this class, but on top of that 25 racks, I gotta slide you another 25 so I can sleep in this small ass room with a stranger y'all picked up from Tennessee. And I think that housing is one of the most frustrating parts about college because if you're a freshman, most colleges don't even let you move to the apartments right down the street, which might be 100 times significantly cheaper for you and your family because you a freshman. The fuck that got to do with it? But I'm getting charged the same as the seniors. You know what I mean? Like that's, you see the disconnect I'm not understanding. Some people send their kids to school and all they got is fast for money. We at home eating hard boiled eggs and shit. So this motherfucker gonna be a doctor. And I say Ponzi scheme because I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know what that is. I'm just saying words. I didn't heard this shit. But I say I feel like it's some sort of scam because without a college degree, you're more than likely unless you have some type of crazy connection or you know, a real good fuck fizzle spirit in your heart you're not going to find a manageable job to help you you know live and eat and you know buy clothes and wash your butt so i'm saying they're 19 the rest of my life ahead of me i can either go into about a hundred thousand dollars in debt by the end of this four year period or i can go ahead and take this next bus ticket to gag city Okay, now this one was one of the like smaller but bigger reasons why I was just like, uh-uh. I, I feel like I'm on Total Drama Island right now. Hella far. Why am I closer to Pakistan than I am to the nearest Wendy's? Walking outside my old ass dorm. I look at a bus. 
Three meters away, I see Dancer and Vixen bullying Rudolph's little gay ass. So I'm like, okay. But you know what? After working up this new can-do attitude, I'm a little hungry. And let's say I have a little bit of money left over after spending everything on essential life needs. If I want to eat anything past five, like let's say maybe seven, eight. <laughs> Nigga, you'll be eating whatever's in that mini fridge you got underneath that big ass bed. There was not nothing around my school. We had one place called Zips. They never had anything like crazy. No crazy sodas. You got you a Sprite or maybe a root beer. And if you was really unlucky, and it was broke, you might have got you a Mountain Dew. But you did what you had to do, because you have to survive. Finding a ride everywhere was always so hard, because if people didn't have a car, you had an Uber, but there's no Ubers who even come all the way over here from the city to my school. Let's say it's the holiday and you need to get to an airport, but I hope you got a friend with a mean Jeep Wrangler, because you're going to be stuck. You're not getting home that season. The snow was also so crazy. Like, I, I'll never forget, one day I woke up and I saw nothing but a herd of reindeer going down this hill right outside my window. You would have been like, you know, that's beautiful. Let me have a good day today. But then I was like, oh... <laughs> My mental health is shit because I got two hours of sleep last night. The unrealistic expectations that college puts on you that we just normalize because this is supposed to be the working culture, I think that's dumb. Now, I do think that every adult needs to have a level of responsibility and self-responsibility to push themselves to do what they need to do. So I do think college enforces that mindset of have to get up, I have to get on a schedule, I have to do this, I have to do that. But I think college picks and chooses when they want to be a little too lenient and when you want to be a little too hard. Like when we speak of the topic of freshmen not being able to go to one of the apartments around the block because they're freshmen. I think that's stupid as hell. Cause y'all don't trust them enough to put an apartment in their name, but you do trust them enough to be able to take a $45,000 loan out from Chase that might mess their credit up so drastically that shit, they might not be able to go in the dealership and get a Jeep Wrangler for themselves this Christmas season. So that's why when I bring up these next points, I don't want anyone in the comments saying, well, that's life, that's what you're supposed to do, it's training you for life, because uh-uh, go ahead and build that credit and go put your name on something. That's training you for life. One day, I literally just sat in my dorm and cried. And then I had to leave my dorm, because, you know, I have a roommate, this random stranger, he was cool though. The second one, the first one, we, I'm gonna get into you. But I'm either be in my room or a study room somewhere in the dorm I was at crying just because I had no idea what to do. At one single point, I was studying for four exams. I had three different 10 page essays. Do all those essays was due in the span of three to seven days on top of tests being, you know, different days, however the schedule was made up. Anyways, after stressing for hours and hours and hours if I'm gonna pass my class and be a failure to my family. Now me, I'm a get it out the mud type of person. I'm gonna find out how to do something the scamming way. Whether that's if I got to siphon some gas from one person's gasoline tank to mine, but I'm gonna find a way to get that car from 7-Eleven to school tomorrow. Or if I gotta find a professional to write these essays for me with no plagiarism, then I'm gonna do that too. And thankfully with Essay Tigers, that's all made possible. Essay Tigers is an online tool made for students like you and like me. With EssayTigers.com, after putting the requirements for your essay, like when it's due, how many pages, what's the topic about, and how many words you need in it, and they give you a reasonable, very doable price to have an actual college professor write the essay for you whenever you need it, and it gets right back to you with no plagiarism because also let's not forget you get caught you're at the school and you're the disappointment your parents ain't like and now your parents in debt so you probably not gonna be having a home after that either i hope you like staying with your auntie and your two bad cousins unlike websites like chat gpt or any other ai generated essay typing website at the end of the day those are robots and robots make many mistakes and they copy everything they do like you think you're gonna be the only one who done made a project about moby dick yeah no you not and that thesis just got you sent to the dean's office because you didn't go to essay tigers and have someone who did it for you straight from the noggin left. Use code Keith YouTube or the very first link in my description so you guys can have an easier, more enjoyable time at college and maybe y'all won't be dropouts like me. So, yeah. Thank you, SA Tigers. All right, back on with the video. On top of the vigorous studying I did for the hours I had left to breathe, I still gotta find eight hours in the day to sleep. That's not gonna happen. So let's say I get lucky and I get three. I'm back up the next day. I rinse, repeat, and I do it again. And now I'm even worse off the next day because I was so fucked up the day before. Do you see where I'm coming from? But let's say you have the strength and the willpower of the undertaker. Now you gotta deal with these extracurriculars. Now I don't wanna hear, oh, you don't have to do that, that's optional. Well, it's also very preached that you should be trying to get into these things so you can make connections to get into certain jobs after. At the end of the day, what are we here for? For careers, no? Okay. So with the remaining time that I have free for my day, I'm gonna do even more extracurricular stuff that has something to do with my major more likely. But this could be both sides. If you love your major that much to where you don't care to even spend extra time on that, then you know what, this might not be a problem for you. But a bitch like me, love my major and I love the career I was pursuing, but I also love to, you know, breathe and decompress a little bit because I gotta do this shit again, Monday. 
financial aid wasn't really given to me, I absolutely had to come out of pocket. So in my case, luckily, there was a bigger assortment of schools that I could choose from in my state. But unfortunately, all of them were PWIs. Now, if you don't know what a PWI is, a PWI stands for no niggas attending. There was almost no black people in my college. And if they was, most of them were coons. All the black boys wanted Hannah Montana and all the white girls wanted Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So they went perfect. The world gonna be the shade of a snickerdoodle by the time it's 2050, just letting y'all know. But the college parties were always so weird. These white people literally grab whatever like ounce of power they have and they use it to their advantage. More than likely, most of the parties are at a frat or a fraternity and more than likely they're on the frat side. And these frats, these white frats, are weird. There was a lot of parties that me and my friends just wouldn't go to because they wouldn't let boys in. Even if there was a group of 10 girls, but there was two guys in the group, they were not letting us in. So I'm like, wait, hold on. You can come in here booty ass naked, itching, stank. But the one thing you don't accept is an elephant trunk in your drawers. I'm, I'm cool, bro. That seemed like a bad situation and a crazy lawsuit and an ass whooping waiting to happen. All right, we find a new party and it's at the, you know, less cool frat house. And you know, people kind of go here just for the same reason that we couldn't get into the first one. We having a good time in there and then it's small as hell. Well, now, hold on. Uh, <laughs> why am I in a hot tub right now? It's hot as hell in here. The white people, they just do crazy for me. Like, I have never seen people do cocaine before until college. It was starting to be more of like a thing used or more like of a less taboo type of drug to be used around, you know, certain groups of people. But when you see the guay kid in your theater class snort a whole line off of a butt cheek, you be like, well, hold on. <laughs> I was not expecting this. And you can't even blame him because that boy, that boy's hurting. He's in debt and he don't know how he gonna get out. His parents poor. We too young to be dipping and dabbling in powder and Whitney and Bobby. And when I say oh, I like drugs, I don't mean I like drugs. When you hear me roll that R, that means it ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, I'm not saying that all roommates are like this, and a lot of times people will really enjoy their stay that they have with their roommates. But I wasn't one of them people. Now, the second time, he was cool, but I still felt like we was both so awkward, and you know I had horrible, crippling social anxiety. And he was just as awkward, if not worse. So, we're in these rooms looking at each other while we're doing our homework, and we even look up, it's eye contact. Now it's a little, I feel like it's a little intimate. Are we gonna kiss, or are you gonna help me with this homework assignment? I can't read the vibes right now. But let's say you cool with your roommate, and there's not really none of that awkwardness. You still don't want to be an asshole though. Randomly in the middle of the night, I will wake up and just start hacking. But it's three o'clock in the morning and my roommate is a teaspoon of edges away from me. I don't want to wake him up. I feel like I should have to deal with that. I think everyone should get their own room. I think that's the least they can do. Even if it may be a little tiny, I am almost positive a lot of people would much rather have their own room versus rooms where you have roommates. And if some people do prefer a roommate, then they need to make dorms to accommodate for that. But I'm not going to lie, like for everything that they're charging us for, you would think that a room would be just bare minimum but I I guess not. Now if you're me and you have the luck of a one leaf clover you probably had the worst roommate situation ever at first at least. Now everyone knows the story I already posted on and talked about it a million times. I had one of the most trifling roommates to ever exist. Never cleaned up, left rotten meat on top of his like dresser, didn't shower, never cleaned up his side of the room, but then had the nerve to give me one last little fuck you and put his shit on top of my clothes. Like I don't know who got my voodoo doll and who's responsible for my life but if you could stop stabbing it and make Maybe give it a little bit of head that would be great but honestly all in all it all came down to just me wanting to be happy in life whatever I was gonna get from college was not gonna amount to the fulfillment I would get for even if I succeeded a lot less doing what I wanted to do if that makes sense at the time my goal was to get like a hundred thousand subscribers that was the peak for me and we're almost there we're at like what 81 point like eight or something right now. 100K is an amazing milestone and I'm super excited to hit it and I'm super grateful, but I want more. Like I want to just be a better YouTuber altogether. So let's say the most I get to is 103,000, which is never going to happen. We are going to grow and I love y'all for that. <laughs> okay, we're going to make it. Thank you. Anywho, let's say that did happen and I was just on this stagnant line for like the next three years. But if I would have got my degree in the three years I would have spent working on this social media shit, I would have been this much more successful. I've always known as a kid that my passion and my dream was to be an entertainer whether that was an actor singer dancer or eventually when I found out what social media was a social media influencer so I am very much still dealing with real life things like stress and bills and you know regular things that you have to deal with as an adult I would much rather be stressed dealing with what I do now than be stressed with the assortment of mental straining occurrences that I got from college eight years ago all because some white man in a big ass white house wanted to get some money and most of the time you know I don't know nothing about politics 
might not be him, I might be the congressman. But whatever I know is a white man got his hand in my pockets and now I'm stuck with this nigga for the next 80 years. And those are all the reasons why I decided that I just could not do college and it was not for me. And honestly, I don't regret it. Like, there's definitely times where I felt like, okay, I can go back. And mind you, just for, just in case a bitch is wondering, I do have my associate's degree, so I ain't all the way fucked up. I do got a backup plan to my backup plan. Now, I'm not saying that college has never taught me and has not taught me anything. And if that's what you got from this video, I need you to go ahead and rewind it. And especially because I'm not doing a job where I have things like insurance or you know, other adulty type shit. Girl, I gotta work even harder to stack this bread and make sure it's there just in case I get hit by a car, I need a new spleen tomorrow. So, yeah, it is essential to some people and a lot of times that might just be your path and that is, there ain't nothing wrong with that. You go ahead and you go, you go get them A's, bitch, or your C's. Whatever you do, make sure you get that degree. You know what I mean? You done paid all that money, just go ahead and make sure you get that degree. If you gotta cheat, do it. Not too much though. If you a doctor, go ahead and study. I don't need you playing around with my new spleen. And that's all I got for y'all today. I hope y'all have a beautiful, 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 and cuteful I don't know, I'm making shit up. I'm try I'm, I'm tired. It's uh it's 1.40 at night. I hope you guys have the best beautiful day. Go ahead and stream Pink Friday 2 is out right now. By the time y'all see this, hey, Nikki, what's up, Nikki? I appreciate y'all so much. Love y'all a hundred times. Kisses on both cheeks. Bye.